Hello everyone, welcome to learn SAP FICO. Friends, today we will learn about vendor clearing. First of all, we will book one invoice under the P code FP60 as we have booked earlier also. Then the T code FP60. Select the vendor. Enter, select Royal Choice and Company Vendor, select the invoice date that is for 26th of May, select the amount for rupees 5 lakh, here select the text, give narration here for your invoice select the gl account debit gl with the expense account with rupees 5 lakh if it comes under the text category then you can select the text go give the value date that is 26th of may 2020 now simulate this here you can see it expense account debited with the posting key 40 and credited with the posting key 31 with the rupees 5 lakh now it is correct entry then you can post it from here so now it has posted in the company code data we get back Next we will do vendor credit memo by the T code FP65. It is used to return the purchase material to the vendor. Here run the T code FP65 for returning the material to the vendor. Select the vendor. Royal Choice and Company. Select the document date that is for 26. Amount for which you want to return it. That is for rupees 2 lakh. Here you can give the narration. Select the credit GL. Here you can see it has automatically credit selected. So we have to select the GL for credit this entry. We will select the expense account that is for rupees 2 lakh. Give the value date 26. Here first you can simulate it. Before it, we have to give here the payment information also. Baseline date on which date we want to return it on 26th of May 2020. Here we can select the payment term 0001 or you can see the list by pressing F4 key. We have selected immediate payment due. Here, due date is for same. Now you can see here the vendor account is debited with the posting key 21 and expense account is credited with posting key 50 by rupees 2 lakh. Here it is correct entry, so you can click on post. Now you can see the document was posted. Get back. Now next step is vendor partial payment to the vendor by the T code F-53. 
now remaining amount we will pay through p code f dash 53 here select the document date that is for 26 of may 2020 posting date is 26 of may 2000 20. Document type is KZ for vendor payment. Period is second. Company code data. Currency is INR. Now here we will select the bank details. Press F4 key to select the bank. I am selecting SBI outgoing bank to pay the remaining amount. Remaining Partial payment amount is 3 lakh. Value date 26th of May 2020. Here you can give the narration. Select the open item, press F4 key. Select the vendor, Royal Choice and Company for your open item. Here you can see the vendor account type is K for vendors. Now click on this process open item. Here I want to pay the partial amount through the partial payment tag. Here you can see the amount entered is rupees 3 lakh and assigned amount is 0 and not assigned amount is rupees 3 lakh. Here you can see the three documents are showing on 26th of May KR of a document which is for total invoice that is for rupees 5 lakh. And this KR is uh, another invoice which is we have created earlier. And this KG is for your credit the vendor for rupees 2 lakh. So against this invoice we want to make the entry. So here we will give the partial amount of rupees. Now we are paying against this invoice rupees 2 lakh. Sorry, 3 lakh we are paying right now. And click on post. The document was posted under the company code Tata. We get back. And now first refresh the. Now run the key code FBL1N to check the vendor report. Here select the vendor. Royal Choice and Company. Here select the open items and click on execute. Here you can see these are the open items under the Royal Choice and Company. See which is our document KR on 26 for rupees 5 lakh that is our total invoice. And this kg for rupees 2 lakh that is for credit the invoice and this kz for vendor payment that is our partial payment of rupees 3 lakh. Now we want to clear these three documents. First is kg for which is for credit the vendor and kr is total invoice and kz for vendor payment. Now see how to clear the vendor. 
by the t code f dash 44. Here select the vendor. Select it. Here clearing date, period, currency and company code. Select it. Then click on this normal OI that is for normal open item. Then click on this process open item. Now here you can see it is open the four items. Now we have to select the our open items which we want to clear. Now our total invoice amount is 5 lakh and kg for vendor credit memo and kz for vendor payment now these all are in blue color it means all are activated now i don't want to select this because it is not my invoice against this invoice we want to clear it so against this invoice rupees 5 lakh these two documents is selected now you can see here it three are in blue color so it means it has activated now click on this post here you can see document was posted under the company code tata now we'll get back refresh it now again check the report fbl 1 and select the vendor company board now select the period item click on this execute now here you can see your invoice which is cleared now because it has changed into green color see here our vendor invoice total amount is rupees 5000 5 lakh sorry and vendor credit memo amount is rupees 2 lakh and vendor payment partial payment is rupees 3 lakh now these all three document has cleared now you can see it has changed the color it means cleared here you can see the document for clearing document it has generated which is for clear document that is this document number is for your clear document so it has the clear your vendor so like this you can clear your vendor if you like the video, please subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.